Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Cancer for the month of December. I am using the Gilded Tarot this month and also with that um, Doreen Virtue's Romance Angels and my Moonology uh, Tarot um, Oracle Cards. Okay, all right. Uh, if you are new to my channel and for any of you existing subscribers, this is a reminder that the reading is a general reading. It is not meant for every cancer out there. Um, if this me reading resonates with you, uh, that's great. I'm glad that I can provide a free reading for you. If it doesn't resonate, you can always email me. My email will be at the bottom of the video and I will get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time for readings is less than five days. If anybody is looking for any kind of a testimonials, if you go to my um, community tab, you will see testimonials there from previous uh, clients and um, go through them and you can read them if you like. I'm clairsentient, clairvoyant, which means that I can feel what other people feel. I pick up other people's energies. I absorb them. So when I do a reading, it's called reading people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. And I, I'm usually about 90% accurate when it comes to reading other people's energy. So I do an energy, energy reading and a tarot spread. Okay. All right. So the first vibration or the energy that I pick up with all of you cancers is that you guys are tired. You've been really through um, the mill, I feel, whether it's work, finances, um, love. Uh, I just feel like you've had it. You're done. You know, you um, are looking for something to lift up your spirits. You're looking for something to just make this rest of the year a little bit better. It's like you're either consumed by something, whether it's COVID or um, consumed by the energies. I feel like the energies are very, very fast. I can't keep up with them some days. So I feel like they're moving really quickly and you guys can't keep up with it. You're absorbing way too much and um, it's taking a toll on you. It's like you need a breather, either from your love life or from work or just in the general energies all around. Okay, all right. So what are the messages? For cancer, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till one card falls out. All right, what are the messages for cancer? What are the messages for cancer? What are the messages for cancer? What does cancer need to know? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. messages for cancer what are the messages for cancer what are the messages for cancer ten of cups what are the messages for cancer what are the messages for cancer what are the messages for cancer We have the Emperor. Six of Wands. What are the messages for Cancer? Seven of Wands. What are the messages for Cancer? Messages for cancer. This card has been coming out for almost every sign so far. What are the messages for cancer? King of Cups. What are the messages for cancer? What are the messages for cancer? All right, we have the two of wands here. 
Okay, so what are the messages for Cancer? So I'm looking at the middle card here as you're looking for victory this month in love and in money. All right, tens are endings. Tens are about reaching that, um, there's the rainbow. You're reaching, you want to reach the end of the rainbow. But um, I feel you are, it's, it's too much. Like I said, it's too much here. So you're looking, this is the central card here and you're looking for that victory. This is a six of wands, which talks about that victory recognition you want good news you keep trying to be vigilant we have the page of swords wondering what you need to do next now here we have the page of swords now this is a um libra gemini aquarius energy i don't know if this is somebody that you are involved with and you want to watch and see what they're doing or you just being vigilant trying to do it all be happy have enough money. The emperor talks about being the boss, trying to be strategic. This is being defensive. We have the seven of wands. You're defending your ideas, trying to negotiate. There's the fear. Here's the seven of wands, fear of it being taken away from you and options. We have, it's like you're scared to make a move. The two of wands talks about you're waiting for results before you're making that choice. Okay, so it's like you don't know what path to go on. And you're, you're sitting back here. Here's the King of Cups. So because this is a general reading, it could be male or female. You're tolerant. You're empathetic. You're looking for that victory. And you've got these here. Like you want happiness. The Ten of Cups is about marriage with children. It's family. It's reunions. It's love. It's support. You could be wanting this reunion with this person. And the Ten of Pentacles also represents um, working together. Okay, this is about um, sharing everything that you have. But you have so much on your mind, it's like you don't even know where to begin. You know, it's like you're, you're, you're scattered. You've got fear. You want love. You want money. You got to keep vigilant. Watch the details. Make sure it's not taken away from you. Still, you're trying to be tolerant and empathetic, vigilant. This, sorry, the Seven of Wands talks about um, protecting what you have. It's about self-defense. This also speaks about, um, uh, like, it's negotiating and it is about um, trying to, you know, just standing up for yourself and your rights and what you want. It is not like you to have to be defensive and to want to have to be this strategic planner from what I, from what I feel. I mean, you guys are usually, you cancers are usually pretty laid back. You know, you're quite moody. You can be moody at times, but it's like you're forced. I just feel like these energies are forcing you guys to play a role or be somebody that you're not because you, you and it, it's so uncomfortable for you. You know, you guys want this to come a little bit easier for you this month rather than having to force this and be the one in control and have to do all of it. It's really starting to take a toll on you guys. You know, you want this victory. I feel like you're going to get it. Next, next year is going to be so much better for everybody. Um, but this is what is on your mind is love happiness, family, you know, security, but you're not, you're not comfortable with this role of having to be that strategic planner or be defensive. Yeah, there's a lot of fear going on here. So I feel, you know, like, um, it's going to be tough. You know, there's Saturn. Saturn represents, um, structure. It represents um, government. It represents um, patience, lessons. And so this could be some lessons here for you guys to be learning this month. I feel it's going to ease off at the end of the month. You're going to have some choices. Two of Wands represents choices and weighing options. You're going to have some options here. You could, you're going to get the victory you're looking for. Okay. So victory, it's coming for you. You know, I just feel like you're really, really scattered and, and scattered and 
ungrounded this month. Okay. All right. Let's see what the message is from Dorian Virtue's Romance Angels. What is the message? All right. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I don't know. I mean, this is a very general reading. So there could be an ex that you're holding on to that you're wanting this from. This could be that ex, you know, um, but it's saying to release it. Okay. Clear your energy. And that could be taking a toll on you here as well. All right. And let's see what comes up for your moonology. What is the message for cancer? Message for cancer. 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 one card what is the message for cancer all right nothing will come of this situation okay so nothing will come of this I feel this it's gonna get better all right nothing will come of this situation to me this means um, in the energies you are right now Nothing good can come of this. I feel like that's what this card is saying. So hang in there. Okay. This is saying you will have victory. But all these energies, nothing good comes of it. Try and focus and not, be, not let fear overtake you. Okay. All right. There you go. That is the message for all of you cancers out there. Again, if you would like to get a private reading, email me. And I will get back to you within 24 hours. Um, if, you, if you would like to know when my videos are coming out, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, and then you'll know every time I've downloaded a video. I do celebrity readings, um, so I do those often. I um, do monthlies and dailies also. And um, thank you for watching. Please share, like, subscribe, thumbs up. I truly appreciate it. All right, everyone, have a great month. Bye-bye.